and sisters, we're asking prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment, in which we now live, the alone that we serve, and the alone seeks for thine heaven aid. O Allah, guide us on the right path, and to those upon whom thou spell thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say he allows one God, Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness and I deserve to be, sir, worth the praise of Salah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. Assalamu alaikum. Like I said, in the name of Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, true and living God, we forever thank him for reading up in our midst of the divine leader, teaching God, in the person of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, Allah, be upon him. We as believers know for sure that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is no longer with you and I in the physical form, that what was given to him. From Almighty God, Allah, who came in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad, lives with you and I, the believers. I know maybe some of us might be wondering why he keeps saying that over and over again. Because it's necessary. Because there's so much confusion about the messenger's death. It has to be taught. Because we people will take things for granted sometimes. And we realize how important it is to keep hearing these things over and over. The message he taught for us for 44 years, praise be to God. He taught for 44 years the same thing. White man is the devil. The Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. That's, he's the God, the black man, and the woman is the queen mother of civilization, the black woman. So he taught this until death took him. And it's still being taught. But a lot of went astray. When we say our prayers, we ask Almighty God of Allah to help us, keep us from going astray. Astray means when you leave from what was originally given to you and me. That's astray. You went away. See? Now you can say he went away in the death, physical death part. But if you look at it, when you go away, you are dead. You're going back to the devil where you came from, the mental part. So there's two types of death there. There's a physical death and there's a mental death. So when we leave, we go back to the mental death. Because you go back. You go back. You, 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 when, when God is alive, not with you, 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 you go right on back. So... We're fortunate, brothers and sisters, to be followers of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We know success does not depend on them. We know that. We witness bears to that. We see how successful we are in the little things that we do, that Allah blesses us to, uh, to, to bring it forth. And uh, it should be an honor for all of us that Allah saw fit for you and I to take part in this work. Praise be to Allah, because it's going to get done whether we do it or not. It's in the making of things. It's in the order of things. So already set up. The die is set. So it's going to get done. So we should be thankful and grateful for Allah blessing us who came to the person of Master Farad Muhammad blessing us to be, be part of this. For this growing nation because it is a nation. This is a government. This is a nation of righteousness. Not foolishness. Righteousness. And we all have to hang up our hang-ups it's just that simple if we want to be here on this side of the grave. So we had a great leader and teacher, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And he did his job. He was successful. And we are a product of that. We are living proof of his success. We live in proof that 
Allah's God who came in the person of the Master of Pride, Muhammad, true and living God, like he taught us. And it's still going. And after us, it's going to still be going. So we're fortunate. The nation fell once, rise again, never to fall again. So we can be a part of that. And we are a part of that. We know we're not going to be here forever. But we live through our spring, the message taught us. So we have to teach them, give them the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so they can carry it on. This is what's going on today. Praise be to Allah. Because we know that the devil's time was up in 1914. But he was given a stitch of the time the message taught us because of us. And we should be thankful that Allah gave and granted him a stitch of the time. Because we wouldn't be standing around here. See? So we're very full. So we have a lot to be thankful for. See? A lot to be thankful and grateful for. You know, because Islam is a life-giving teachings. It's to save our life. That's what it does. It's saving your life and my life as long as we with it. You know, as long as you hold on to that plow. See, the best you taught her, hold on to that plow. It's not going to let you go. You have to let it go. That's like you driving in your vehicle. You have to hold on to the steering wheel. Wherever you turn or wherever you go, you, you got to hold on to the steering wheel. Okay, what you doing? Let it go. See what happens. Get all out of control. You have a wreck. Kill yourself or kill somebody else. Or mess yourself up. So hold on to it. See, hold on to it. Pray to each other. Hold on to it. Don't let it go. I know that. I know that's very easy for you and me. You're doing 67, 20. 60, 70 miles an hour and you let go of the steering wheel. You know what's going to happen, don't you? You're headed for it. You're committing suicide. You might live through it. You might. But you might be all banged up. Or you'd have messed somebody else up. See? But what? Being careless. Letting that wheel go. Being careless. Letting Islam go. Same. See? Same. Same thing. You're headed for destruction. It's just that simple. See, many of them. Many of them. Let it go. Many of them. Gone. Fell by the wayside. A lot of times you think, oh, this don't happen to me. Oh, it can very well happen to you. It can happen to me too. See? Very well happen to you. See? So we're very fortunate to stay under this umbrella of truth. Islam is taught by the most honorable of Elijah Muhammad. See? All these, all these guys out here, all these so-called leaders, they, they ain't doing nothing. Because if they were doing something, they'd have something. Look at all of them. Brother brought that to my attention. And it's, and, and, and it's true. If they're all the people that they have, they should have something. But they don't. They don't have nothing. What I'm talking about. But we got the truth and we're going after the people. They're doing the wrong thing. They're going to listen to a guy. Every, we, we, we're trying to get the dead. They ain't trying to get no dead. They're living the life of Riley. See? Because we are successful, brothers and sisters, that's what we're doing. We're successful. It's a slow process. Get our lost found brothers and sisters. It's not easy. Because they've been in the hands of an enemy and they've been messed up. Forty-four years the most honorable Elijah Muhammad had taught. Forty-four years. Look at it now. All that teaching that he did, Allah blessed him. Look what happened now. How they all went astray. But we come out of that bunch. We very lucky, very fortunate to come out of that. They catch a natural hell. Don't you think it? The message says if, if we catching it, they catching it harder, better than we are. If we going through some things that's trouble, hard trials and, and times, they going through worse. Worse than you and I. We have a God on our side. See? And he can a well able to take control of the condition. But it's all a trial. He tries us, the messenger say, to see who would deviate after knowledge. He tries us. We're all being tried. All this is nothing but a test. See, all, this is all it is. So you going through something, well, that's your test. I'm going through something, that's my test. We're all going through it. All of us going through different things, trials that we have. 
See, the messenger had him all his life. So he took a mission. He had trial, he would try it all, devil tried him all the time. Tried him every every time look around, they're trying it. And they're trying his followers. So we're very fortunate. Let me let me say this before we before I go, because um if I continue. Brother Sin, just let you let you know that we have believers outside of our temple one day. We have believers that's following the teachings of the message that works with us. So, uh, Brother uh, Quincy from uh, Atlanta, him and his wife sent the greetings, sent the cat sent the greetings of Assalamu alaikum to all of us. Um, Brother Calvin Shabazz, he also sent the greetings of Assalamu alaikum. You working? Brother Mustafa Ali, his family sent the greetings of Assalamu alaikum. Dr. Ali, and Sister Anna Ali, since the greeting also about Salaamu Alaikum. Brother Ibrahim Muhammad, he also sent the greetings about Salaamu Alaikum. All these brothers, but they just back ain't named. But the Harvest Shabazz sent the greetings about Salaamu Alaikum. All these brothers and sisters here. Sister Patricia Muhammad sent the greetings about Salaamu Alaikum. Brother Muti Kabir, he always sent the greetings about Salaamu Alaikum to family. He said to family. And we are family. We are the human family of the planet Earth. We are a great family. And uh, hope I didn't forget anybody. Oh, Brother Sal Muhammad Salim Bay. Yeah, brother, that's Brother Bay. He said he up and rolling now. And uh, he said he back soldier. And they're trying to get something together there in, uh, in Oakland, California. And uh, they're they, they doing pretty good so far. But nevertheless, these are brothers and sisters that sent us the greetings. These brothers and sisters are followers of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And they work with us. You know, so it's not always the brother never get it. Always out in front of you. Not everything's always in front of you. It's behind the scene. You got a lot of brothers and sisters doing good work. See? Now I, I, I forgot to bring this letter that this brother wrote. I, if I lie with it, I'll get it next Sunday for, for you. I meant to, to bring it for you. Just, just to show you the importance in me, the importance of working together and our website, how um, important it is that brothers and sisters, they look at it and they get an understanding. Praise be to Allah. They get an understanding of the messenger's teachings. And that's what it's about. Praise be to Allah. That's what it's about. They can be converted right there. Can be converted. To have the last and greatest message to teach us, to get us from that spookism, Easter, and all these different kind of holidays and things that we was taught, put in us when we was babies, by our family. Our mothers and fathers put that in us because it was put in there. That today is Easter. And the messenger told us what Easter, what it meant. And who it was for. It was Nimrod's mother, Esther, the messenger told us. It was her birthday. Her name was Esther. So they said Easter. And they're celebrating uh, the day. It's her birthday, I'm talking about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, he rising. The message, yeah, he's, yeah, truth is rising. He's sure enough rising. The black man is rising. All of us is rising. That's, that's, that's who Jesus rose. Jesus means justice. Justice is rising. Praise be to Allah. So he gives us understanding on that. You don't be putting no chocolate covered eggs and chocolate bunnies, pulling rabbits out of hats. Oh, that don't, that don't work, not in the real world. See? So we're fortunate to know these things. And it, he said that Nimrod, he was, a, he was a wicked ruler in opposition to Moses in his day and time. See, he married his mother, yes, and had children, fathered. So the old saying, he said, the message said, that's what they got that lie 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's what they had to tell the people. So somebody ghost visit his mama or something. See? And uh, it's a long story. See? But nevertheless, we got the simple fact. I'm going to go deep down in there. Rabbits on legs. Easter bunny and jelly beans and all that. That's the devil's world. That's the devil's thing. They get your money. Go down there. First thing we do, we run down there and get everything. We they bought some hard down selling papers yesterday. Okay, I was down there Friday. It's supposed to have been good Friday. The day they supposed to kill Jesus. And what's so good about that, they say. Now that's a good Friday because they kill a righteous servant of Allah. Now what's good? It's good for them because that's they devils. See, so they kill them, so they call it Good Friday. How is it good you can kill somebody? See? But never anyway, I was down there to show you. The messenger was right. You couldn't prove him wrong. Because if you try to prove him wrong, you try to prove our law wrong. That's who taught him. That's who gave him his mission. So if you try to say the messenger wrong or not, you're saying God wrong. See? You way out of order. Messenger know that. You know what he was doing. Our law know what he was doing. The creator. Did you think he know what he's doing? Don't you think he can see way beyond what we can see? But I was down there. This devil had, they had ordered three big platforms of, you know, you sit it on them crates. A hog. Nothing but a hog. Now, this was Friday. Three of them. I'm sitting right. I'm looking at the looking at the truck and the guy in the little hollow pull this thing up there on the door, pull pull the thing, put it on in there. Hog, nothing but a hog. I go back up there yesterday. We done, we had one sold paper. I heard him come out there, I heard him say, you know, brother asked, if we gonna open tomorrow, yeah, he said, I don't know about for maybe about from eight to twelve. He ain't thinking about no Easter, he thinking about the Benjamin. As they call it. What Easter he think? Easter is when his pockets full. They had no pork, no ribs. Now this was Friday. This the next day. I'm down there. I'm I'm witness them praying all this hog in here. The next day, I heard him say, one of the brothers employed said, well, "Man, we probably gonna work." No, he said, "No, we ain't got no more, no more ribs." I looked at it, all of it gone. And I saw these boxes of hog. He had a rib left, not one. See? Now, you talking about Easter? Yeah, he had to have a good Easter. Both of his pockets full. You see in that picture that Muhammad speaks? But that's different, but you, that's how one was sitting back with all money all everywhere. The other one just a pole. That's us. See? So we're hog eaters. Just think. If it wasn't for the messenger, where we be at? I mean, not a, they didn't have a bone left, not a rib. Our people bought all of it. So we're very fortunate that we had a messenger to teach us. And we want to walk away from this. This is a life giving teachings to save your and my life. Yeah, he's gonna save the life. I'm telling you, things get tough sometimes. Yeah. We've been in a nation, it's not easy. Gonna be some sacrifice done here. When we sacrifice, sacrifice just don't mean lose money, it means your way of life. Our way of life. We can't serve two gods. You either gonna serve Allah or you're going out there. You can't leave here and say, I serve our law. You're going out there and doing what you want to do out there. You're not serving our law. You're serving the devil. Because you're no longer in the society, in the brotherhood or sisterhood. So a chastisement you got to go through for one year. Yeah, at least one year. This is the message of the black man. The message tell you that at least one year. Now I'm telling you what. You think you got some problems now. No, you ain't got no problems. No. That's just make you wish you were dead. 
It be hot sometime, that chest tower be on you. It make you wish you were dead. Think I'm kidding? I should say, you think I'm lying? What the message says, brother said, clock. Huh? The message said, Allah chastised him, put him, prostrate him. He couldn't even blink his eye. Just like that, stand. He couldn't do that. Allah got him stand. He told the message, just kill me, cut my throat. Cut my throat. I said, man, I can't cut your throat. In other words, if he cut his throat, he put him out of his misery. No, you suffered a little bit. Because you sided with the enemy. Against me. I made you the big boss of all of them, he said. I made you the supreme captain. I made you the big boss of all. This is his brother, Kalant. But he wanted his position. I already done chose him. I chastised him, prostrated him. He died a disbeliever and a hypocrite. That's a bad thing. See, see we don't want to underestimate the power of Allah. He can bring all this to a note. He can bring it to a note right now. He can stop it right now. If he please. This is the power of the God. So when we make a commitment, and we have an oath. You gave an oath. We all said, I believe that Allah came in the person of the Master Prophet Muhammad. I believe that Islam is the right religion. I bear witness. And we signed and swore and pledged allegiance. Now you're going to walk away? You lied. From the beginning. The Master said, wasn't in you from the beginning if you walk away. You didn't believe it in the first place. These are the kind of thing that we'll be going to where we plan around. This is serious business here. This is serious. God is real. He's a man. He is the divine supreme being, and we're going to be the one over all the messenger taught us. He said, I promise you one thing. You will be the one. I didn't promise you no smooth going. He said, but I can tell you one thing. You'll be the one. We ain't had no smooth going, have we? We ain't had no smooth going. Since we first come here, it wasn't no smooth going. It was always work. But we did it cheerfully because we know Allah was with us. That's right. Praise you to Allah. We knew we was going to get it done because he was with us. But we what? We was patient. And that's what we got to have, patience. When you're learning, or when we're learning and going through a learning experience, you got to have patience to get understanding. It takes patience. It takes time. That's why you're given six months to clean up and device yourselves of the devil's habit. Allah know what he was doing. He gave you six months. He know it takes time. So what's your excuse? You don't have none. We don't have no excuse. We should look and sit and study and ask questions and learn all about yourself. And it make your job easy. It make you become a good believer. When you try and get an understanding, Allah will open up the heart for you to understand. He opened up our hearts. We understand. We know not to walk out of here. That we know. Because we know we do, we know we heading for trouble. Now you walk out of here, you got a misunderstanding. You got to get you some understanding because it's going to save your life. That's how it is. It's truth. No. You think Allah came 9,000 miles to play? No, he didn't come 9,000 miles just to come 9,000 miles. He came 9,000 miles and raised up the messenger and make sure that you, they teach you and you be obedient. That's why he came 9,000 miles. Not for you and me to take it lightly. We blessed. Yeah, we blessed. We, we catch it a little bit of it. We're going to catch a little bit of it. But in the long run, you're going to be the winner. In the long run. When that journey finally coming to you, you're going to be the winner. And if you're not, I'm not here, I'm children are going to be the one because we set this pace and path for them. These are the kind of things. We go down in history as a believer, as a martyr, a fighter, for the truth. The messenger was a martyr. He was a fighter to the end. The death took him. And I was told on his deathbed, he took it. He took it like a man. He, he took it. He wasn't, oh, he took it. Like he was just happy. 
That's right. But Bakma said, told us that. Because he was there when he went to the hospital. The message was the message. He didn't flinch like say, oh, I'm going to die. Oh, what's in your toe? Oh. Uh, the message took it. Because he knew he was going to be here long. He knew. He's a great man. That's why I say he was last and greatest at them all. He taught us well. He didn't leave not one stone unturned. He taught us well. He did his job. There's no excuse for any of us not to carry on what he taught. Unless you got some hidden agenda somewhere. This is what's happening. We're very fortunate, brother and sister. Now I am. You can't melt me and pull me out there. You melt me, don't pull me outside this door. I'm saying the temple. No. Oh, pull me in the temple. Don't pull me out there. No. I don't never want to die no disbeliever. Die a believer. Die not yet. Yes, he died a believer. Die not. See? No. Who preacher standing over you? No. Talking about hell, Mary, full of grace. We're very fortunate, brothers and sisters. We fighters. We got a lot of yet to do. We got a lot of work yet to do. Like I said before, I can bring it to know. Never be pleased. I said, pray not for that day. Many of us be lagging behind with a filth and doubt for mine. Many of us be lagging behind. See? So don't pray for it because you may not be ready. You might be sure enough in trouble. You, you praying for her up. You going right along with him. A lot of man's 100% to the law. 100% to his law. See, so now you praying. Her up for that day. You, you 100%. Yeah. Probably missed prayer this morning. See, that's just what I'm saying. 100% holier than thou. Righteous. See, holier than thou. The message you taught us, now no little eyes are big use. We all brothers and sisters. <laughs> you know, a lot of time you have to say these things. Won't people think you think you're talking about them and stuff? And Islam is this. The message of teaching. The message says if you want it, it wants you. This is Islam. You're not forced. There's no compulsion. You're not forced to do this. It's on your own free will. Allah can force you and I to do to do whatever He please. He can force us. But now the message say He give us that our own mind that let us choose. Then He justified in chastising you and me. When we refuse, He justified in chastising you and me because you got your own mind. Now He can force you, man. Believe me. But no, he's going to let you make it up. So when that chest has me, hit you and me, you will say, oh, well, I had a chance. I chose this way. You can't blame it on our love. You can't blame it on the messenger. You can't blame them on talk. Oh, they didn't talk to me right. That's on you. You know, a lot of them run out of here and say, uh, the minister didn't talk right uh, uh, or something. You know, sister didn't say it right. Uh, uh, they, they, the, the believers down there treated me wrong. They uh, any old kind of excuse. That's what they come up with. And that's the good one now. It's all with that. They always come up with that. They didn't talk to me right. Yeah, they always come up with that. Yeah, you know, that's the thing that everybody know. What's that? They did that back in the day. Hey, oh, you, you didn't treat me right. You talked to me wrong. All oh, that. Devil, devil talk. You call you niggas and everything. Or you ain't said nothing. Yassa. You scratch when you ain't itching and laugh when ain't nothing funny. You know, so you come out here, can't nobody say nothing. You, woo. see, these kind of things. See, you, we know, we know that game. You know, so if a, see. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to take it. You're not forced. Willing. This is a doing religion, the message is saying. A working religion. He want a willing man. He want a willing woman. We do this willingly. We don't force. The message says, I, I don't force you. I didn't come to force you. Just to get it to you. So that you don't have no excuse. He said, that's all I'm here. Just to get it to you. Not to force you. He didn't force me. You either. What forced me? That fire out there. That forced me. Yeah, that forced me in here. That fire out there. Forced me right on in here. Now thank Allah. 
who came in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad. And you run out there, or any one of us get the notion we're going to leave out here, it's going to force you here somewhere, force you to the graveyard. Because you don't have no guidance. Allah's not with you. When you turn your back and walk away from his messenger, he's not with you. Because when you turn your back and walk away from the messenger, and Allah told him, you're walking away from Allah. So you don't have no protection. He gave it all up. For what? The world of sport and play. That's all it is. It's the world of sport and play. What you want, what you doing out there? What you want to go out there for? See? Just see what's happening. It's not happening out there. But death, look at the I can tell you, go look and look at the condition of our people and you'll see what's happening. See the condition that they're in. They're walking around, the women with dresses halfway up their thigh. Walking around with stuff on the back, kick me, touch me. The pants they're wearing out there, got names on the back of them. Touch me. Wearing hot pants. Tell me about it that the pants is hot. That's what you're doing. I'm wearing hot pants. I'm me some hot pants on. Yeah. That's what they're doing out there. Smoking, drinking, gambling, fornicating, committing the door to shacking up the line. That's what they're doing out there. You ain't got no righteous place out there with nothing but the church, and we know what the church is. See, these kind of things. If we were to go out there, that's how it is. This is what you're asking for. All of us. You can the message say you're a believer today and a hypocrite tomorrow. It's a lot. You can be all right right now. We sit here all right. You go out there, it's a whole thing that changed. So it's all of us. I'm talking all of us. That's what it is. So you can, you can go right on out there. They ain't over with yet. I don't know what you're going to do. Now what you gonna do? So don't talk about hey, talking about other me. I ain't talking about. I'm talking to everybody, including me. You know I don't get no special privilege. I get it worse. I go out there. I get it worse than you. Yeah, I'd be made a pink example out of. Them. You think I want God? Don't. Woo! Don't need any thought in my mind. I don't want that. Hell, I get that. I start trembling. Think about going out. That's our trembling. Shaking like Don Knox. Telling you. What was going on? We used to do back in the day. But I never get that. Brother walk out, lead the temple. Me and Lieutenant Fleming were standing up there by the, by the door once. We were on post. We stand up there. We know it's out there in the hall. He asked me, he said, you know, I say, uh, I wonder what uh, Brother Johnson doing. Lieutenant Fleming said, I don't know, man. I don't wonder what he's doing, Brother Lieutenant. He said, oh, oh no, man, I don't, I don't care what he's doing. I'll show you what he's doing. Okay, what he's doing out there? He out there. I said, yeah, you're right. You don't know what he's doing. So, okay, I'll show you. Go on out there and I'll show you what he's doing. No, I don't care what he's doing. You pray be to Allah. I don't care what he's doing. Yeah, you walk out that door, that's on you. I don't care what you do. Oh, that's you and Allah. What the best to say, that's you, God, and the devil. That's how I go. That's the, all of us, man. This ain't no easy thing here. You could be a believer today and a hypocrite tomorrow. You're not careful. You got this in your brain, in your heart, something in your mind. That can happen to you and me. Like I said, I don't think about it. Nothing like that. Think about progress. Yeah. More brothers and sisters coming here, soldiering. That's what we think about. We love our black brother and sister that we love for ourselves. We don't want to lose no brother. We don't see no brother and sister go out there. No brother and sister out there. It's, it's deadly out there. You safe here. You safe here. Pray be to Allah. Nothing. Yeah, something can happen to you here too. Yeah, if it please Allah. Nothing happens unless it please Allah. Nothing happened to you and me. It's not easy in here. What I'm saying, we, we have to go through a whole lot of things we go through. Trials. We're learning every day we're learning. But you just don't get up and walk away. Who would we be at the messenger would have said, Allah gave him a choice. He might have been trying him. I don't know. He gave him a choice. Come on, me and you, let's go. Me and you, we go. What did, what did the messenger say, okay? What is okay? Allah knew he didn't have one. 
Well, I knew he wouldn't have had one. He knew he wasn't the right one. He said it. He said, no, let me try. That's what the attitude we're supposed to have. That's right. Let me go at him. Let me get out here. Let me do what I can do to help save him. I can bring him in. You can't save him. Allah saves him. Because he saved us through his messenger's teaching. You got to want this teaching. If you don't want it, don't want you. It's independent. It was here for you got here. It was here for I got here. For my mama and daddy, all of them got here. It was here. And it's going to be here. Long, long, long time. And the message say, you will probably won't even be around. A long time. See? So we're very fortunate. Because we know with Islam, I'm rising about teaching and the message, there's opposition. There's going to be hypocrites in this day to oppose the truth from which they're doing. But this saves our life here. See? This is our life. This is the life-giving teachings. See? We're very fortunate, brother. It takes hard work. But the busy you stay, the nonsense, you don't have to worry about that nonsense. Because you're busy. It keeps you busy. See? Brother went out there and sold them papers. Kept you busy, didn't it? You didn't have time to be playing, joking and laughing. You was taking care of business. I'm a speech. Taking care of business. You getting that paper to the in the hands of our people. Be surprised the good work that you did. Every time you put a paper in the hands of our people, you help raising the dead. That's what you're doing. <laughs> now, it ain't on you for them to accept it. You gave it to them. Now it's up to them to accept it. You gave them the truth. Now it's up to them to follow through with it. See? Hurry up, hurry. I'm gonna die up to the local temple. Tell you that, hurry up. Some of them do, some of them don't. But you did your job. You did what was required of you to do. You did what you said you would do. You did what a, a believer would do. He a soldier, a see a soldier. In any capacity. See? So this is not easy. I know it's not easy. It's hard on some than it is on others. See? But hey, that's okay. After difficulty come ease. But see, we got to fight with the truth. We can't be, <laughs> every time something happens, you get weak. Every time your misfortune comes, you get weak. You have, you have, you have some. If you ain't had this misfortune, you will. I had a lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of days. But I ain't foolish enough to say I ain't God. I know that he know the condition that I'm in. You see. You know. So Allah help me get out of this. Put myself in. If something bad, I done put myself in it. You don't put you in nothing bad. You put yourself in it. He betters our condition. <laughs> you don't put oh uh, uh, I put myself Allah, Allah got me checked. I'm trying. No, you you put yourself in it. Don't blame that on Allah. Your failure. To do what you're supposed to do, then now you suffer the consequence. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, yeah, ho, oh, oh. ho. We should learn from our mistakes. See, these are the things. We're all brothers in here. When we lose a brother or sister, you think we like it? We don't like it? It hurts a little bit. Tell you truthfully. But once you go the next day, yeah, well, that's it. That feeling is gone. I ain't saying it to be like I'm so tough. Oh, let's just strive hard against them. Somebody walk out of here. Oh, when you coming back? Well, why you, why you do this, brother? Sister, why? What's wrong? You don't go. Please don't go. You go whatever you please and not saying it to be funny or being bold I know I said you can go ever you get ready because the messenger did his job wasn't nothing wrong and no ex don't need no explanation really it's like taking candy from a baby and you walk out here and pat your back and pat your back you walking on out here and get that's what you're gonna do you're gonna walk out of here and get caught up in that vice out there A lot of us think it's, think it's pretty. It ain't what it seems to be. It ain't what it seems to be. 
It seemed like, oh, I'm having so much fun. Oh, no, it ain't what it seemed to be. Until you get in it. When you get in that fire, just like a little baby, like my little grandkid. Turn that stove on. Let that fire burn. Let that fire come on that eye. You tell them all the time. I know man told me once I bucked into that heater. She kept telling me, you know what? Get away from the heater. Get away from the heater, huh? Dancing all around and dancing all around that little space heater. And my little hit that thing. Boy, I holler. Ah! She come in and then I tell you to stay away from that. But I tell you one thing, little baby, I never got burned again. <laughs> That's right, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. A lot of my witness, I never got burned again. You know what I did? When I go by that heater, <laughs> kids low. That little, my, they, I, they let them get burnt. I can't get some fat and see who they go back by that. No, they're going to remember that. They're going to remember that. Some common sense tell them. Don't do that after they learn. Don't do that. You're going to get burned. If you see somebody else, that's how a lot of work. You see somebody else catching hell out in the world out there, why would you want to go out there? You see what they're catching hell. Why you want to go that way? Or why would I want to go that way? We have to love Islam. The message is burn it in their hearts. Burn it in their hearts. And they grow up to love it. You burn it in their hearts. And Islam is the natural religion of man. It's their natural self. But you teach them and burn it in their hearts, they be strong believers. What Yaqub had? Good strong breeders, didn't he? We ain't just talking about having babies either, the message said. It's common sense. Knowledge. See? When you're a good breeder, you teach. You teach them. That's a good breeder. That's what Yaqub had. They followed his law, didn't he? He was successful, wasn't he? And he's still successful today. He running the same old game that his father, Yaqub, put in him. Same game. Hundreds of years. Thousands of years. Same old game. Right on up to the modern time. And then we had a message to come in our midst. One who was taught, he, just like we were, suffered the same problems that we went through. So there ain't no excuse. He suffered the same thing that we went through. The teacher for 44 years. And we acting a fool. Still acting a fool. He's gone physically. And we still acting a fool. Want to go out there. We're Muslims. Follow the messenger. Down over Elijah Muhammad. That's great. We're going to be great. We are great, and we're going to be successful. Success depends on numbers. Information is first for those who want it, who really sincerely want to see it through. That's you and I. See, that's what we have to do. We have to want to see this through. So it's going to be some sacrifices in here. It's going to be some hard times. It's going to be hard trial. It's going to be some things that we as individuals have to get ourselves in order with and clear our understanding up. All this is what's going on. It's going to make us better. It's going to make us fit. See? But we have to be true and concerned about each other. This is how it is. The message taught us that. See? Love one another. Treat your brother and sister like you want to be treated. That's husband and wife too. You got to treat her like you want to be treated. She got to treat me like I want to be treated. Like she want to be treated. That's how it go. You don't all sin on me. You don't all sin on her either. You don't all sin on you. When you say, I do, we do. What you say? Pray to the Allah. When I say, I do, and the man say, I do. You say, I do. I do what? I do what now? What you supposed to do. And she say, I do what she's supposed to do. That's it. Help each other. Be fair and truthful with each other. Sometimes, you know, the stick swings, it hit, hit me too. I catch that boomerang, catch me sometimes. 
I may not be fair all the time. I don't want to get like that. I want to be fair all the time. Not some of the time. Not when fair to, being fair to suit me. You know. We have to be fair. That's true. But a man had ego. A man have a have a strong ego. And I know I have. I got one. Sometimes I you get the best thing. You don't want to get that like that. And nobody tell you nothing. You know. You know, sometimes, you know, you get it right. You go somewhere, just let me go somewhere and cool off. You know, and I come to the right conclusion. I always do. See. You know, you can agree, disagree. But it's the way we disagree. You have to listen. No, 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 no. You have to listen. You got to hear him through. Listen. The man say, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. About like that. You know, he ain't laughing. But see, the thing, the thing is, that just goes to show you it's real. Islam is real. I ain't no spook. I ain't perfect. I ain't trying to say it I'm perfect. You ain't perfect either. I ain't going back going at you. I'm, I'm saying me. I know I'm not, and I hope you know you're not. You may think you're not, but I hope you know you're not. You know, you think you you all it, all in. No, hey, you ain't all in. Cause I know little things what we always say, you all you might be all out. You, you ain't all in. You you been through that. You know everything. You ain't, you ain't like that. See? But we you know, we we you know, it, it's something. But see the messenger brings all that out of us. Just think. If you were like you were in the day world in here, and everybody would like that. You would have no peace. Everybody try to be on the same page. We keep our line the message out front. You know what you know when we start quarreling, I don't care what it is, our lie presence is no longer around us. It's no longer with you and I. We quarrel, quarreling and everything. See? But brothers and sisters, we got a good paper. Fall of America. We know America's falling. This is a good paper. Very good paper, this edition here. Very good paper. I had a brother up the other day, yesterday, he said, I asked the brother about the paper. Said, Muhammad speaks about it. He said, you know what? His brother said, you've had to. He said, uh, them two. He said, she wicked, ain't she? I said, yeah, she a devil. She wicked, brother. Both of them. He said, but you know, I don't like white folks. So I can't buy the paper. I couldn't, I couldn't bother him on that because he, he caught me that, you know. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't regroup her a little bit, see. I said, uh, yeah, okay. I said, okay, brother. I can understand what you're saying. I could convince them the other way. But he said, I don't like, that's why I'm not fine. Because you got them two up here, and I don't like white folks. So he's stop. I couldn't come up with nothing that thing. You know? <laughs> so he, you know, he had a point. But I could, I couldn't come up with nothing. I said, well, go, go here. He high anyway. But he, he, he said he didn't like white folk and call her wicked. Now yeah, bro, she a dope. Both of them. That's why I can't buy because I don't like white folks. I said okay. So I, I don't know. I didn't know what to, how to come on it. Oh, that, you know. So maybe the next time I may think of something, Allah bless me to think of something to come up on. <laughs> uh, so we did overall yesterday. We did pretty good. All the brothers, they did pretty good. Pray we tell so we got we got some papers out, and the articles is 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 is, is I'm telling you, it's just tremendous. I mean, it's good articles. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, Sister Tierra. I really enjoyed your article. It was it was real, real good, real good. And I think the brother learned something too. Yeah, and uh, he was, you busted him good, but it was nice, and it was truth. That's what it was. It was true. It was actually true. It's true. And uh, we had good articles. Clear, we had all our good articles in, in there. And um, that's, that's what it takes. That's what it takes. And when you put forth effort in there, Allah blesses us. And when they get it and read it, you give some understanding. Because you, it don't have to be, just, just say what, just say what's it. You know, you know, just say what's it. You, you ain't got to be wise or where. Just you, we saw how the message you talk. Plain and simple. 
Everybody can understand him. Even a fool. A fool can't there. Now when they tell you a, a fool can't there, now they're telling you. Everybody can understand, understand, understood what the messenger was talking about, what he was about. He was a messenger. See, he was a messenger of God. See? And he taught us. For 44 years he taught us. This man taught us. He never deviated. That should be enough. When we look at him, he's out in front of us. He was a prime example of us. And what we should do, we should follow his lead. Because if we follow his lead, we follow in Allah's lead because Allah chose him and taught him for three and a half years. So just on that, we have to be enthusiastic. We have to be full of fire. That comes with what? You got to say your prayers. The message that's like gas in your car. It gives us the power to move. That's what we have to have. You got to have prayer in dealing with this out there every day. You got to have prayer to even get the confidence for you to go out among them wolves. That's what they are, wolves. You know, they people, we use the term wolves. You know what a wolf do. See? And you got to go out in the midst of them and offer them a paper or inviting them to the temple. You might get cussed out. That's all in it. They might want to kill you and fight you. That's all in it. But the message say, we're able and wise enough to know that our brothers and sisters are dead. So we give them the benefit of the doubt. It's okay, brother. Next time. Go ahead. But sometimes we have to be, that's why we have to pray. Because it might catch you bad one time. Catch you off guard. But when we say our prayers, Allah is always present. He guides us. He helps us and we protect us. Because we call on him all the time. The message said there's no time wasted in prayer. No time wasted. You can say them all day long. No time wasted. You don't have to wait to the prescribed time. You say the they one before the prescribed time. Then say it at the prescribed time. You just ain't got to wait to prescribe time to honor and give praises to Allah. No. You're supposed to say your prayer at five in the morning, you get up at four. Say it. You ain't going back to sleep. That's the extra blessing that you get. That don't mean now nah, I done said it at four. Now nah, I ain't got to say it at five. <laughs> you ain't been that way. You ain't been through that. You get up, I done said it. I done, get up 3.30, I done said it. Five o'clock, I ain't got to get up at five. Yeah, two hours, yeah, you, you laying there. And you probably wake up, you wake up, and then you go on back to sleep. I said it at four, so now I ain't got to say it at five. No. It's about five o'clock. You wake up during the night, say it. See, those you know, things start getting better for you. See? Got my Allah, got him on your mind, you're conscious. And you get a reward, Allah. Like, that's the thing. Now, you get to say that. Uh, other, another prayer, here's a guy going to give you an extra blessing, going to give you a, a reward for just saying another prayer. That's something there. That's the merciful of God. And he want to bless us. See, he want to help us. But we got to first want to help ourselves. See, these are the kind of thing. My sister got a good plan. They, they have a good plan uh, for the TV thing. And uh, we want to we wanna get that. I think, I think it's, 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 a, it's, it's a real good idea. And I think it's going to really help to get lost down, get our, you know, sisters, MGT sisters and whatnot, give them a chance to, to, to uh, sit in. That's a, you'd be surprised. That's, a, that's the break. Of, the message say keep up with the modern times. That's what you said. So anytime you can zoom in like that, that's modern time. And you'd be surprised we get a lot done. And you get, it'd be a whole lot of big, big, whole lot of people happy and, and make them more, uh, feel a part of it. Because there's something when you at a place and you very seldom see believers. We're very fortunate. That's why we should take advantage. Always come out to the temple. You got some brothers and sisters, they eight, nine miles from the temple. Hours, rather. And some, some of them have it that they come in and, and, and had a big screen TV and walk up just like they're going to, 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 to temple meeting. See? This is what it should be. And I think it's going to be a very good job, whoever came up with that idea. That's a very good idea. And we at the FOI, we're going to do all that we can to see that y'all get this thing today. What we're supposed to get it today. So, so we with you. And we're going to do all we can do. We have to drop down. We'll take some money. 
And that's what we have to do, drop down and get this going. And both of y'all, y'all going to be proud of yourselves when y'all see the sisters and things coming in and, and watching this and all the followers of the message and getting them straight from the horse's mouth, so they say to speak. You're going to see a big change. And no, no, we might save the day or whatever. We might have a whole no telling what happened, might happen. Because you got them out there, they just dying to see somewhere to go. They not as crazy. They look and they sin. They want truth. Just like we were. We want truth. See? So these kind of things, brothers and sisters, we're gonna we're gonna do all that we can, because I really like the idea of it. Y'all like the idea, brother? Yeah, I, I like the idea of it. And we won't get you say I gotta have it today, huh? We wouldn't have like to have it today. But I would like I would like y'all to have it today. So we're gonna do all that we can, all that we can come up with. We have to go down and dig deep. Give to the hurt. Give to the hurt. And not injury behind it now. No, you keep it. And then when you've got injury behind it and you see all the progress going on, you're going to feel just that bad. You're going to say, oh man, I wish I could have. I should have went on and did what? what I could have went on and sacrificed a little money here, man, and put that on up there. And, you know. I wasn't going to do nothing but go buy some chips and pop whatever else anyway. Whatever. Some cookies and cakes and stuff. So I go ahead on and do that. So these kind of things. So we're going to get that for y'all today. We're going to get that for y'all today. So you got to have, I mean, that's just when you say the, the, the sale, sale thing. Probably. Well, don't tell them when you're dealing with that out there. Don't tell them what it ought to be. You might just want to get that before it be gone. It might be gone. Yeah, so ain't no thing yet. It might be gone. So we know how they deal. Yeah, some of them would take it back there and hide it like they did us that time. Took it back and hide it, hid it. We found it, and they hid it for themselves. Some employees have to just go back. Oh, bless, we found it. found one of them back there. So, yeah, I see one of the employees probably and hid it. See, that's what they do when you get them nice things like that. They hide it from you. So we got to jump on that, man. We got to jump on that. Get that because we got our left. Our left know how to hook it up. So we, we got the tools. So he can go and hook it up, and then we in business. We had that running up and running today or tomorrow. See? That put some smiles on people's face around here. See? Everybody eating sour pickles. Because they know that you can do it. That's something when they know you can do something you don't do it. See, that's something when you know you can do something you don't do it. Now, that's, you get in trouble. See? So we want to go and do that and help the sisters go. They're always helping us. They're always fixing dinner for us and having things for us. So we have to show our appreciation and try to help them with something. Because every time they, they want something, we can't step up to the plate and, and, and give them a hand. It's mad dog, you know. We always cooking y'all something. Every time y'all have, 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 a, have a fire, it's automatic. We just think it's automatic. It's, it's automatic it's supposed to do that. But we forget about the, the hot stove. They go over to sweating and all that stuff for the past stuff and all that for us. And it's making us like kings and keep treating us what we are. And, 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 and they make us like that. So they want us to get a chance to say, well, okay, now it's your turn. Now I want you to return the favor. You know, I know they'll do it in a way, but I'm just saying we want to, you know, let them get them the benefit. Of that. I mean, I feel, hey, man, that time I do, do something, and when I ask myself, y'all can't come up, man, what's happening? See, these kind of things. We want to do that. So we'll, we'll, we'll work. We're going to work with this. We're going to get these sisters, get this, get this thing, because it's going to benefit all of us. We're going to get this thing, get this thing together. So. So I don't know who's going to go pick it up. We're going to get this today. We're going to go pick this up today. And then we have this today. And then we're going to all appreciate it. We're going to all appreciate it when we see it. And then in some way you put something in, in my conclusion, in some way you put something into something and you see it, it makes you feel good because you put a part in this. And all them brothers like Brother Abraham, uh, uh, brother uh, uh, Mus uh, uh, Mustafa too, and uh, um, uh, Kabir and I forgot to mention brother, uh, brother, uh, uh, was Doctor Ali's son, um, Akmar Ali. He he also he sends in donations. So all these brothers sends in donations to help us. See, because sometimes. Like a lot of these bills being paid. They send in help. And this I'm telling about this brother Brian. I'm telling you this brother Brian, the one that I didn't have that letter. I'm going to bring with Allah willing, I'm going to bring that letter 
to show you this brother donated. Never he, he saw them saw the, 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 uh, the, the website and opened his eyes. And he wanted, he felt like he had to do something. See? But what he did, this, this brother, see? So th these are the things that I'm talking about. They helps us. And a lot of things be getting paid when we fall short. See? We fall short. See? And I thank Allah for that. You'd be surprised. See? So we ought to do all that we can to get what we can while we can. And it takes sacrifice. It takes a lot of money sometimes. You know? And uh, uh, this is what we have to do. It's a when, when sisters or something, or brothers, we come up with something, they need something, we have to try to, to, to accommodate them because this benefits going to be for all. It's, it's not just for themselves, it's going to be for all. So this is what we have to do because I know, uh, I mean, that's just uh, life. You all, you all want to do something, somebody can help do something for you, you all want to accommodate and at least try to do something for them once, once in a while. They don't ask for that much. They don't ask for too much, you know. And uh, so we should, just on that note, I'm not asking for too much. We should just, just whatever we have to take, just go ahead on and do it because they don't ask for that much. So uh, table cloths and all that stuff, what they buy with their own little money that they get, but still, when it's, this is a big, big project here, and they're going to need some help. So, because uh, you know, they don't ask, really. When they got things and what to do, they, they come on up and do it, you know. They don't ask us too much. But when they ask us, believe it, it's needed. You know, so they don't come that often, you know. So we want to accommodate them. Get this thing for us. I can't wait to see it. So I know it's going to be good. And they're going to put a smile on the sister's face for a while. Smile. <laughs> Lord, brother. Pray be to Allah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pass the bucket. See, I'm slipping already. So you get that for me. Um, you get that for me. We'll get it and probably pick it up a day. Beneficent the merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent the merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone we serve, the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh, Allah, guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou spell thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say, He Allah is one God, Allah is He of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is He begotten, there is none like Him. And I bear witness none deserve to be sir worship or praise beside Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. I mean, the honor of Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone that we wouldn't have done unto ourselves and treat everybody right, even the devil. Assalamu alaikum.